Hi, I'm Sonali Verma from Informatica Support. Today we are going to cover working with data models and a demo to show the functionality of importing data models in developer tool. So this presentation is about how to create logical data object models from data models. There are so many data modeling tools out there which companies use to create data models in their proprietary formats. Several customers might have these data models that they want to work with. Creating these data models from scratch can be overwhelming and pretty time consuming. Also, many a times customers have uh, legacy data models and the complete knowledge to create it from scratch is not available. Developer tool gives the functionality to import these pre-existing data models into the developer tool. I will switch to uh, switch over to developer tool now to show this functionality. So the project I'm going to import is uh, test here. So we can right click and say new logical data object model. And we are going to create the logical data object model from a pre-existing data model. So we go with this um, option. So the model types that we have, which are supported and certified with um, Informatica are the ones that you see in this drop-down list. So we can choose any, um, let's say, I'll choose the Erwin 7x data model. The options that we see here are specific to the data model. So for example, in this one, uh, because we chose Erwin, we have import column order from import owner schemas, import IDs and things like that. If I go back and change my data model to something else, let's say Sybase Power Designer. So here you see different um, options like append volumetric information to the description field, remove text formatting and so on. So these are specific to the data models. So uh, that is what I wanted to show here that these um, attributes that come are specific to the data model. So I'll go back and choose the one that we decided, so Erwin. And the file is where your data model exists. So I have the file in here. So we say next and this is taking a while but it will get us the objects that are available as part of that data model. So in this particular case these are all the objects that are available. This is for a movie store so uh, you can see objects like employee, movie store, credit card, e-payment and uh, so on and so forth. So I will select all objects and I click on finish. Sorry about that. So it's going to do it now. And you can see that the data model has been imported uh, in the developer tool. And these are all the objects. We can arrange all of these and let me make it a little bigger. So these are the object mo objects that were a part of this object model and um, in any object we have, we store the attributes which can be seen here and the keys for that particular object and also the relationships. So the relationships between objects, the, um, the solid lines show the relationships which are called the identifying relationships and the dotted ones represent the non-identifying relationships in this. So we just save it here and that's it. So we have the data model now successfully imported to the model repository and it's persisted. So currently, as I was saying, we just have some eight to 10 odd data models which um, were shown in the dropdown. 
but we can support much more as we use MITI for this integration and MITI does support over 100 um, such integrations, such bridges. If there is an existing data model you would like to use, uh, be, please feel free to contact Informatica support. So that was the demo. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact Informatica support at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can um, reach us at Twitter in the link shown below. Thank you.